I want to take this opportunity to thank my YouTube channel members. Thank you for always supporting the channel. On the Jotunheim mural, Kratos' name has been changed, which means that not only did Faye call Atreus by a different name to her people, but also changed Kratos' name as well. The theme of identity is going to play a big role in the next game. Who are you going to be? Here is a director talking about identity when speaking about Atreus. It's like that whole ending sets up what was underneath the surface and not necessarily part of the, the sort of core story, which is identity. Atreus has the opportunity now to choose the identity that he wants. He is both Loki and Atreus, and he has been living as Atreus. And now he's been given this opportunity that is like, oh, wow, this was what mother wanted. That's interesting. What when, does that mean? When Mimir's telling the story about Tyr and he's saying, you know, some gods can use their godliness for to, to in the service of the people. There is Atreus, son of Kratos and Fae. Then there is Loki, the guardian of the giants. Maybe helping people is part of why mom sent us out here too. I mean, what would Atreus of Sparta do? And what would Loki do? Faye is the loving mother and protector of Atreus who hid in the forest with her family. Then there is Laufey the Just, the warrior who screwed with the gods being a thorn in their side. Amir, what did you call mother? Laufey the Just? Did you know her? I never had the pleasure. Laufey was a rumor in the halls of Asgard. A giantess warrior who thwarted many an Aesir god's plans. There is Freya, who is a kind god despite having a very similar origin story to Kratos, something I talked extensively about in this video. But now she may go onto a path of hate and vengeance. And feed your soul to the vilest filth in hell! That is my promise! He's saved there is also Thor, who is half giant and half god, but chose his godhood and helped destroy the giants. The theme of identity is always present in God of War 2018, but what about Kratos? Why did Faye decide to call her husband a new name entirely? First, the name she gave him literally translates to Great Striker or Cruel Striker, which is an appropriate name for the former God of War. She knew his true nature and knows his true strength. However, there is another reason why she changed his name altogether, which plays into the theme of identity. Kratos is not the same man at the beginning of God of War 2018 as he was throughout God of War 3. And he isn't the same man from the start of the journey than at the end of the journey. Kratos went from hating all gods to accepting help from Freya, who was a god and admitting that Tyr was a good god. He went from keeping secrets from Atreus to saying he has nothing left to hide. I have nothing more to hide. He is no longer the bloody ghost of Sparta and now actively rejects the name. I'm dangling from the hip of the bloody ghost of Sparta. Do not call me that. From destroying his old family to getting a new one, Kratos is not the god of war. He is no longer the ghost of Sparta. In fact, he's not even Kratos anymore. He is Farbati. He is a great striker. He is a god who doesn't seek power. He's a father, and he's a monster who wants to be better. He must be better. He is not a man who will simply destroy an enemy and will actually try to talk to them first, such as he did with Baldur. He isn't Kratos. He is Farbati. This is why I think Faye changed his name. She knew who he was and gave him a new name because he would change at the end of God of War 2018. Fade knew all of this and I think it's one of the reasons why I love the character and why I love Kratos in God of War 2018. Despite his God of War 1, 2, and 3 counterpart is pretty much just being a badass anti-hero. But let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I'm gonna be out of here. Thank you guys and girls for listening. Deuces.